Cassava provides food for millions of people. When grown on fertile land, cassava often yields three to five times more than when it is grown on poor soils. But when cassava is grown on the same field year after year and no proper measures are taken, the soil quickly loses its fertility and cassava yields decline. Twenty years ago, I started growing cassava. During the first season, I harvested about 20 tons and invested about 100 kilograms of fertilizer. But during the second season, I had to increase the amount of fertilizer by 50 kilograms. And every year I needed to increase the amount of fertilizer to keep the same harvest. As Mr. Kwung's experience shows, only adding chemical fertilizer is not the solution. Fertilizers are important to increase the yield of the cassava. However, to keep the soil fertile for a long time, farmers need to use other management techniques beside applying fertilizer. In this video, we will learn how to reduce soil erosion and build a healthy soil. To keep a healthy soil, one needs to ensure the soil is not washed away with each heavy rain. Some innovative farmers pile the crop residues from the previous cassava harvest along the contour lines to reduce the rainwater runoff. Contour lines follow positions located on the same altitude. However, planting hedgerows of grass or small legume trees along contour lines is more effective in slowing the speed of water coming down the slope. Planting such vegetation barriers about 10 to 20 meters apart allows the water to infiltrate and the washed away soil and nutrients to settle out above the hedgerows. On gentle slopes, farmers in Thailand also establish ridges along the contour lines to improve water infiltration in the soil. Young entrepreneur Witul Saptong buys truckloads of chicken manure from large chicken farms and sells it to local cassava farmers. At planting time, Witul plows in about 6 cubic meters of chicken manure per hectare. When I use chicken manure, the cassava leaves stay green longer than when I use chemical fertilizer. The soil improves, is more loose, and absorbs water better. The water can drain freely as the soil is not hard. If there is no rain, the nutrients in the chicken manure do not evaporate like with chemical fertilizer and the cassava can still take up the nutrients. The soil is loose and roots can develop easily. There will be many big roots. If you don't use chicken manure, you will get about 4 tons per rye. But with chicken manure, you will get about 6 tons. On steeper slopes in northern Vietnam, Mr. Huang Van Hoi has cleared a plot where he grew acacia trees. To plant cassava, he avoids disturbing the soil as much as possible. Make planting holes like small trenches of about 30 centimeters long and 15 centimeters wide. The length follows the contour lines. Dig planting holes at one meter distance. You can reduce the distance if the soil is very poor and cassava roots are small. Carrying compost up the hill is difficult, so throw only a handful of compost in each hole. It contains nutrients that are essential for plant growth. Do not put fresh manure on top of your soil, as most of its nitrogen will evaporate into the air and other nutrients will wash down the hill. Age or compost the manure before applying it, so that it will slowly release nutrients to your crop. 
You may apply some NPK fertilizer at planting to encourage early canopy formation, reduce erosion by rain, and increase yield. Apply a small amount of NPK in each planting hole beside the compost. Use high yielding cassava varieties that produce abundant leaves. Chop the stems of vigorous cassava plants into 15 to 20 centimeter cuttings. Place a cutting in each hole with the buds facing slightly upward and the lower part of the cutting towards the compost. The cuttings should not be in direct contact with the fertilizer as this could reduce sprouting. Roots will develop at the lower part of the cutting and benefit from the nutrients. Two to three months after planting, apply some extra nitrogen and potassium to each plant to get high yields. Do not apply fertilizer under heavy rain or during prolonged dry and hot periods as the nutrients will wash away or evaporate. To learn more about fertilizers, let us visit an agro dealer in Thailand. Miss Rung Napa sells different types of fertilizer for different crops and for different types of soil. By reading the labels on the fertilizer bags, you can know the amount of each of the nutrients it contains. The first number indicates the amount of N, or nitrogen. Nitrogen helps the plant to develop. The second number indicates the amount of P, or phosphorus. Cassava plants do not need much phosphorus. The third number indicates the amount of K or potassium. Potassium triggers the roots to start swelling, produce more starch, and increase the weight of the roots. The roots enlarge and yield increases. As cassava does not need much phosphorus, you can either mix a bag of nitrogen with a bag of potassium, or you can use NPK with a low amount of phosphorus, such as 12, 4, 40. Let us compare two different types of NPK fertilizer. The bag on the left has a high amount of phosphorus and therefore is not very good for cassava. The bag on the right has a low amount of phosphorus and is suitable for cassava. As it will take two to three months before the cassava develops sufficient leaves to fully cover the soil, you need to protect the soil in other ways. On the lower slopes of the mountain, Ms. Tran Thi Nga from Yen Bai province in northern Vietnam puts rice straw in between her cassava plants. As it is close to her paddy field, it does not require too much labor. Mulching has many benefits. First of all, the cassava yield is better, it gives more roots. Secondly, it takes less labor to weed the field because the mulch covers the soil and stops the weeds from growing. And thirdly, it prevents the soil from washing away, which helps keep the soil fertile. To reduce the direct impact of the rain, you can also keep the soil surface covered with residues of intercrops or the previous cassava crop. To quickly cover the soil surface, you can also grow a fast-growing, short-duration crop in between your cassava plants. This is called intercropping. Farmers either grow maize or a legume crop such as cowpea, peanuts, or soya beans in between their cassava. Legumes absorb nitrogen from the air and store the nitrogen in their pulses and leaves. 
có chứ mình rồng sen là như này thì khi mình vừa được thu lạc thu đỗ nhá. Xong là những cái cây When intercropping, we can harvest peanuts and beans. When the leaves of bean and peanut plants are left in the field, they rot and enrich the soil. By intercropping, cassava grows better because in those fields where we don't intercrop, the cassava is not as good. If we intercrop with maize, the leaves of maize plant are not as good. It's best to intercrop with peanuts and beans because they give the most fertility. By leaving the legume crop residues between the cassava plants, you will further protect the soil from rainfall impact, reduce weed growth, and nourish your cassava. You can grow a legume intercrop on steep slopes, even in fields that are far from your home. Farmers should intercrop their cassava with legumes, such as beans or peanuts, even if their fields are far from their houses and they cannot harvest them. Because we all know that legumes help improve the soil and protect the soil from erosion when the cassava has not yet developed many leaves. Farmers across Southeast Asia have set up small trials to learn and discuss different soil fertility measures. By observing and exchanging experiences, each farmer selects those technologies that suit him or her most. So, what have we learned? On sloping land, rainwater washes away the fertile soil and cassava yields will quickly decline. Plant contour hedgerows of grasses or small leguminous trees. Keep crop residues to cover your soil. Minimize land preparation on steep slopes. Apply a handful of compost and a small amount of NPK fertilizer in each planting hole to stimulate early plant growth. Plant vigorous, high-yielding cassava varieties. Plant a fast-growing legume crop in between your cassava to quickly cover the soil and reduce the direct impact of rainfall. The crop residues will serve as mulch and enrich your soil. By reducing soil erosion and building up a healthy soil, you will continue to have a good cassava harvest for many years.